Hey guys, what's going on? It's Wasim here again from Handsome Smiles. Thank you for joining me on another Frank's video. Today I'm going to be doing a review of a other, it's from the house of Melifluence and it's called Lidon Zavora. So Lidon Zavora is from the house of Melifluence. A perfume behind the scent is called Abdullah. Uh, I'm going to leave a Etsy link uh, to his shop uh, if you want to check out any of his others. It's going to be in my description below. So let me just uh, run through the notes of Lidon Zavora and then I'm going to be talking about what it smells like, talk about its performance, its suitability for occasions and give my overall rating. So let's start off with the top notes. At the top of Lidon Zavora by Melifluence you're going to get Nang Champa, Saffron and Ylang Ylang. The heart of the fragrance is Mahuhu, Indian Amber and Civet. And the base of the fragrance is Oris Absolute. Cambodia Sufi Oud, 2002 Labdanum and Australian Sandalwood. So those are the notes of this Uttar, but what did I get on my skin? Uh, and how did this Uttar make me feel? So when I apply Lead on Sephora onto my skin, I get a, a very strong, dull, woody, uh, sweet chocolatey accord. The scent is sweet, but it has a, a dull sweetness. It's definitely a gourmand through and through, from the beginning to the dry down. This is a gourmand scent. Uh, but it's not a gourmand in terms of uh, like vanillic notes or caramel or other edible type of uh, uh, gourmands that you typically find in fragrances. For me, I get this uh, dull woodiness in there in Lidon Sephora and a, a hint of chocolatiness. It's very intense and it definitely has a woody quality to it as well. It's a sweetness but there's a healthy dose of woodiness which gives it that dullness. As the fragrance uh, develops into the heart it keeps that, uh, that strong woody dull sweetness, the gourmand from the opening but it's, then it's joined by a, a a very faint uh, but gentle spiciness. I believe the spiciness is coming from the note of the saffron. As the fragrance dries down, it keeps that that gourmand quality from the opening, but then it's introduced to this very sharp sweetness, uh, and it's like honeyed sort of sweetness. Uh, it, it's a very like sharp sweetness. Uh, imagine. Uh, Imagine a syrupy honey, that's what I sort of get in the dry down, but with that honeyed sweetness uh, and that syrupiness, I still get the dull woody quality from the opening and that very sweet chocolatey accord. This is a, an utter which gourmand lovers will absolutely enjoy. When I was, when I was uh, testing this fragrance, uh, it really reminded me of the festive season. Uh, due to these uh, gourmand notes, the sweet, sweet notes, and the little gentle spiciness that you get as well in the heart of the scent from the saffron, it kind of reminded me in the festive season here in the UK, waiting in line at Starbucks for speciality coffees or lattes. And it reminds me, standing in line in Starbucks during the festive season and just smelling the sweet uh, coffees, the speciality lattes, the the gin gingerbread lattes especially, that gives off that spicy sweetness which I got from uh, Lidon Zephora due to the saffron mixing with the other uh, gourmand notes in the scent. So this fragrance really reminds me of the festive season. It gives it, whenever I wear this, it gives it like a, a soothing, calming sort of feel. Like I've said, gourmand lovers will absolutely love this. In terms of performance, Lidon Zephora was a utter which actually uh, performed excellently on my skin. I got about four to five hours of really strong projection, after which it sits a little bit closer to the skin, but you still stays in a moderate range. Uh, in terms of uh, longevity, I got around seven to eight hours. I think due to its composition being a gourmand uh, with those strong sweet notes, and for me, it reminded me of the festive season, so I think this is a perfect scent for the winter. Overall rating for me, I was really impressed by this scent. I'm gonna give it a score of four out of five. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have, then please do leave me a like and a comment below. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, then please make sure you do. Until next time, see you later.